It's the holidays, ladies and gentlemen, and there's two things. One, 2020 is almost over, thank God. And two, we get to play another Mega Man game. This time, it's the sequel to Mega Man Zero, Mega Man Zero 2. This game was not only made in the same year in Japan, but only one month later, but released in the United States in the same time as Mega Man X7. The thing is, Capcom did that on purpose to try to make Mega Man X7 overshadow Mega Man Zero 2 as far as canon is concerned. Well, as you can see, this is the better game and the better game won. And speaking of getting good, or should I say getting better, god damn I have an F rank, and that's because I used the elves. I found them all, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway... It has been a year since Zero chose to take a different path from ZL. He still fights against Neo Arcadia, who decides to self-destruct for some stupid reason, but these battles have lost meaning for him. In other words, what is he fighting for? Zero knows to find his purpose. He should find CL and the resistance soldiers. Yeah, that's the thing. He's been tranching the desert for over a year, fighting Arcadian Pathians, and in the battle, Zero's weapons, at least his shield boomerang and his triple rod, were lost. On that note, Zero is ready to kick some ass. However, I made a stupid mistake. I should have stayed and fought those Pantheons. I honestly should have. I at least killed 15 of them to actually make the score. But whatever the case. God damn it. <clears throat> We're practically going through the intro stage. And you can use the Charge Z Saber by default this time. You don't have to actually uh, level it up in order for you to... Uh, use a charge Z Saper or the full Z Swings. And I saved you all the trouble because I leveled up all the weapons when I first started the game. When I actually played the game for the first time. So I saved yourselves a hell of a lot of trouble. Yeah, this is practically a new game plus. And the reason why there's save assist on here, because I turned them on and this is the Zero ZX Legacy Collection. And save assists make things so much easier because Zero Two is probably the hardest game in the series. Not be okay. Let me rephrase that. That would be Zero Three, but Zero Two is hard for its own reason. Let's see. While Zero One, it was not really mandatory to get the um, A ranks or S ranks. Zero two, it is in order for you to get the enemy skills. And more importantly, they tend to recycle bosses and try to make them harder. Just so that um it could try to prove proof to be a challenge factor. And for the record, the golems that I just killed will give you a uh, cyber elf. These right here, the condoy the chondroids, sorry. Destroy five of them, you get an elf. The Shabals I ran into, and the Shabaling thing, the Shabalers things that I keep running into, these things, if I destroyed three, I would have gotten a, uh, I would have got a Cyber Elf. And also, the ball things earlier, if I destroyed five of them, I would have got a Cyber Elf. Yeah, there was the other one right there. And also, <clears throat> here's the thing. One last Cyber Elf is right here. You see that alcove? Just push down on it and go underneath. I, ca I skipped it because I already got the Elf that's here. So there's practically only five Elves. They're not missable. You could go back out into the field eventually. But the thing is, it'll have to wait until after this thing's defeated. This is the Mega Scorpion. And I was so used to using the uh, dash armor, or the quick armor, whatever the hell that armor is, that will allow me to dash slash, that I totally forgot that, oh yeah, even if, a new, if it's a new game plus, 
you're stuck with the default armor until you get past the boss. And I took way too much damage. <clears throat> if I hadn't took that much damage, I probably would have got an A. No, wait, no. I still would have gotten a B because I didn't kill enough enemies. Yeah, I took 46 damage. So on that note, I'll have to try my best to avoid damage because it would cost me everything. As Zero lies on the ground in the middle of the desert, with the desert sands beating upon him, Horpuya flies in like some, well, douche on a fal- on a- on a griffin, sorry, I almost called it a falcon. Zero. To live or perish? Hmm. You know, Phantom chose to perish. Oh wait, too soon? Anyway. Harpuya may look like he's about to kill Zero, but that's not necessarily the case. And speaking of things that are not necessarily the case, here's El Paiso. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks to your great efforts, it gives me great pleasure to announce the completion of this new Resistance base. I thank you all for accepting me as the commander of this new base. I promise to bring about a new era of peace. <laughs> I can't say that in a straight face. <laughs> oh dear God, they don't know what they got themselves into. Whatever the case, folks, while everyone's cheering for peace and victory, they just don't know. <laughs> I'm still a little embarrassed when I think about it being a commander. Are you sure about this? Trusting our fate to a reploid like me? Yeah, Ciel, are you sure? Absolutely. It was you who organized us to fight against New Arcadia when we were barely able to escape from there. <sighs> and who was it again that caused the trouble? I'm flattered, but you helped me all along. You know how unreliable I am without you, CL. You just keep in mind that we had, a, we had to organize a resistant force in order to defend ourselves. Yes, I will remember that, and now... We are buying time for you to complete your research. Still, since X has not been resurrected yet, we couldn't ask for a better opportunity than now. Please allow me to carry out my operation. No! Don't do it! Alright, goddammit, CL. But promise me one thing. Do not be too strict. You have my... As soon as he's about to say it. Excuse me, sir! It's about Zero! He was found lying unconscious! Just outside of the base! So Harpuya actually brought him here. What? Zero? This way! And before El Paiso could actually give him his word, uh, Zero shows up and... Or should I say it was dropped off? And Alpaizo's jealousy immediately shows. But folks, I'd keep my eye on Alpaizo if I were you. But the poor guy, he got messed the hell up. But at least he's being repaired. Zero. Dear God, he got messed up. But hey, he held, he held off a whole entire army for a year. That's badass. I'm glad you're alive, Zero. Zero, you're functional again. You were in rough shape. Uh-oh. What's going on here? What are you talking about? I'm amazed you're still alive. 
welcome back. Jesus Christ. He... He must have suffered severe damages, I suppose. Where am I? You're in our new Resistance base. Thanks to you, we were able to escape from New Arcadia and start a new life in this place. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry that we were unable to come to rescue you. Or should I say, to come rescue you? <clears throat> CL, CL, Zero must be tired. I know you have lots to discuss with him, but why don't we let him rest for a bit? And Zero, I'm afraid that most of your weapons were broken, therefore I fixed them. Yeah, the triple rod's gone forever, so everyone who wanted the triple rod back, too bad. I also created a new weapon, why don't you come back later to pick it up? Okay, I'll go here. I'll be in my lab for a while. Come and talk for me. Come and talk to me when you're feeling better. And on that note, we're gonna have to go to the lab in order to continue. By the way, he wasn't kidding when he said that I wasn't kidding actually when I said that all of their weapons were all of Zero's weapons were gone. Sorry. Ah, stuttering. God damn it. <clears throat> but here's the thing. You get something better in place of the triple rod which is the recoil rod and actually the recoil or was it the recoil chain yeah the recoil chain i just hope that we keep it and unfortunately no we don't keep it but unfortunately we'll have to pass by here first oh damn i thought i could avoid him wait a second allow me to introduce myself zero My name is Opaizo. I have been appointed as commander of this army. Oh, new resistance base. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. Please lend your support to us. Let's fight together and destroy Neo Arcadia. Um, destroy Neo Arcadia, huh? It's not that easy. Then what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> You're a funny Reploid. I hate when people say that to me. They try to come off as condescending. Anyway, nice to meet you, Mr. Lezen. So on that note, we all know that uh, he definitely has intentions to eradicate all of Neo Arcadia. And that does not sound good. In other words, he fixed all of the weapons, and the chain rod is basically created from the triple rod. And what the chain rod does, you can actually uh, lure items to you. You can use the chain rod to swing across platforms, and oh god, is that thing actually useful? And more importantly, let me remind you that you could actually uh, knock back certain things. Like, for instance, there'll be pendulum hammers that'll be in one of the stages. You can use the chain rod to knock it back. The chain rod is really damn handy. And Zero Two will definitely spoil you on the chain rod. Of that, I am certain. Now then... We can actually switch forms with the new um, OS, I think. Or should I say the new IU, I should say. God damn it, what am I trying to say? But whatever the case, we can now switch forms since we I actually have the forms available from the last game I played. Anyway, Zero, are you okay? Uh-huh. That's good. I was so worried about you. We've been trying so hard to find you. I'm glad you found us. I found you? I came here before I, lose, before I lost consciousness? Do you remember what I was working on? I was conducting research that helped develop a subsequent energy for energy crystals. It's a great invention 
that can drastically change the world. Change the world? Neo Arcadia began its iron fisted policies because of the energy shortage. In order to protect the human society, Reploids were discriminated against, labeled inferior citizens, and were sent to concentration camps for retire. Wow. History shows that, the that an energy shortage in an era usually triggers a large-scale conflict. Once a substitute energy is developed, the destructive conflict ends. When I told this story to the commander, El Paizo, he laughed at it. He does say he will wait until I succeed in developing a subsequent energy, but in truth, El Paizo believes defeating Neo Arcadia is the only way to regain peace. I have to finish this. I'll bring order to the world, not with destruction, but by the power of science. My research is almost done. I still need a little more information, though. Anyway, I'm going to manage your save data for you, and this is where I'm going to call it. Because we're not only going to be introduced to the new hub world, or should I say the new command center, but also the very first pseudoroy we're going to be taking down. And it's not Phoenix Mangian. That's going to be in part three. I'll see you guys next time.